Yo guys, Zoli Tati and today we are back with another FIFA 23 video. Hang on. It is almost 6pm on Thursday the 16th of March 2023. We have the Footballers promo coming tomorrow. But well, we did have a new season today and it's actually not too bad. Um, we did get level 50 and level 30 cards. The season's all nostalgia themed so you get like retro stadium themes and badges and that that no one really cares about unless what your club has one. Uh, I'm going to be honest, oh, Juventus Retro 2017, you know, that good old <laughs> throwback to the same badge that they still currently have. What? But we did get level 15, level 30 players. We start off with Zakaria Bakali. That's actually a really fun name to say. Zakaria Bakali. It's quite fun. 5 foot 6, three, 4 star, 4 star, left wing, right wing, left mid. Nice pace, quite good dribbling and outside of reactions. Good passing as well. And decent chewing. That's not bad. He's Belgian. He's he's Eredivisie. I might have to go with him. You know, for the Eredivisie team that I, ha I haven't definitely used. As we do have, Liebold. He had a team of the season for Hamburg, was it? I think it was Hamburg. In the second division, I think in FIFA 20. Uh, he's now at Sporting Kansas City for some reason. Don't know why you go at the MLS when you're... He's, uh, to be fair, he's 30. You know, it's sort of MLS age. Uh, three star, three star, left back, left wing back, left mid. Really nice dribbling. Well, at least for full back. Probably average defending for a defender at this stage. Nice physical though, decent passing. He's also not bad. We also have Thiago Iglioli. I think that's how you pronounce it. Six three, three, two star, three star. Decent pace, nice defending, good physicals. <clears throat> They're all not bad, so honestly, I'd just go with whatever one suits your team. I'm probably going to go. Carly, because he's there to VC. And we also have Kevin Lasagna, the man with many layers to his game. Six foot one, four star, four star, straight centre forward. Really nice pace. 80 finishing. I didn't realise his finishing was that bad. But 99 shot power. Shooting's really weird for him. But decent passing, nice dribbling. That's not a bad card. Not great, to be honest, but. Let's do have Scott McSauce. Six foot four, three star, four star. Oh, if he'll play centre back, this would be a really nice card. Uh, CDM centre mid. Okay pace probably for CDM. You're probably going to want to shadow on him. A decent dribbling outside of agility balance. They're good passing, good and really nice physicals. A shadow is going to have to be it, isn't it? And Nacho Fernandez probably the one to take. Uh, I'd say from level 30. The other two were good, just not as good. They had flaws. Nacho Fernandez, low high. 2 star, 4 star. 5 11 as a centre back, though, is a bit of an issue. Centre back, left back. Really nice defending, really nice physicals. Good dribbling for a centre back. And good pace. Yeah, Nacho Fernandez is the one from level 30, I think. Um, you'll see footballers is coming tomorrow. We have three player leaks so far. We have Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, Mason Mount, and. Dan Juma. So, footballers is a promo without any ballers, apparently. They also have the all the anti-racism um, uh, vanity items in FIFA 23. I see, you know, brilliant message. It's a shame that it still has to be said in the year of 2023. Even just today, um, Storky on Twitter uh, tweeting about Chew Brack problems. So I was like, yes, we're getting recognition. Then, uh, Someone in the comments just said, we don't care about black. So I was like, what is going through your brain to reply to that? Then uh, someone replied him, so he replied with the N-word. I was like, so I've, I've, I reported him. It's just like, what is the point? How does that still run through your brain in the year of 2023? Right, yes, I'm going to say that, because that's going to make... It, it, you're such an idiot, man. Anyway, second player in the month in a row for Julian Brandt. 4 star, 4 star, 6 1, high medium. Right wing, right mid cam, centre forward. Decent pace, nice shooting, really nice passing, really nice dribbling. This is a good card, especially if you're playing him cam. You're probably going to want to, again, boost up the pace. Probably your hunter, maybe, or if you, if you want extra, you know, dribbling and passing. Uh, probably the maestro, is, is it my en engine that does pace, dribbling and passing, right? Yeah. He's 92 and a 93 with an info. Brilliant value, I think. Either if you're going to use him as fodder, or, you know, he is a usable card, so. Um, any other SPCs? I did do the uh, cam mixed campaign bag pick last night. 
I got... I've, I've forgotten who I got. Um, I've got another marquee matchups. AI case, Stockholm. Given us the wrong kit. The kit on the badge looks absolutely lovely. AIK usually has really nice kits. You know what? They're my favourite Swedish team. Why not? 81 rated squad for a kit though. I'm going to pass on that. Um, I think that it is it in terms of SBCs today. Yeah. Uh... I'll have a quick look at marquee matchups in case you guys are interested or can't get to your console. ISV Feyenoord, 73 rate squad, max 5 leagues, Premier Electron players pack. Southampton v Spurs, two Premier League players, max 5 from the same country, 75 rated for a small Premier League players pack. Barcelona Real, Premier Electron players pack, one from each of the teams, uh, same country, region, minimum 4, two rares, 79 rate squad. An Inter or, Juvent Inter or Juventus players, minimum 1, two leagues, three countries, max 5 from one club. For a jumbo premium glow pack. Not bad. Oh, who is it that I got from uh I cannot for the life Oh I remember now. It was actually quite a tough pick. It's actually quite a tough choice. All three players I would have taken. But I got Ferran Torres. It was between him, Stenturian Stuani, and Future Stars Kalulu. I I wasn't able to check their prices. Which I probably should have done mine. But Ferran Torres, 4 star, 4 star, 6 foot high, medium. Left wing, left wing. I just took Ferran Torres because he didn't play a striker. I know he can't get any more upgrades. But nice pace, nice shooting, nice passing, nice dribble. And just a well, well rounded card. Uh, Stuani, I would have liked, liked to take. Because I do have his dynamic duo card. Obviously for the past and present middles team. But at least for the lengthy meta, his Centurion's card was actually unreal. It's got really nice stats as well. Ferran Torres is 60k. I, re I feel like I should have taken Kalulu now. But I have Serie A centre-backs. Like, I've got Smalling there. Yeah, Kalulu's 77k. Kalulu's actually more expensive. I think I've made a mistake there. Um... Yeah, I've got Posh there as well, which, you know, isn't great, but... Should I take Kalulu? Yeah, Stuani's 19k. Another reason I didn't take Stuani um, is because he's, I, I imagined he'd be discard price. Um, so I could just buy him if I ever needed him for the middles for past and present, even though I do have the Dynamic Jewels card. It is a really nice card, that Stuani one, though. I... For 19k, that is an absolute steal, in my opinion, if you're st starting a light like, road to glory or something. Do we have a loading screen for footballers? I like how the name of the uh, promo is foot, as in FIFA Rugby Team, ballers. But it could also just be said as footballers, like the profession, the job. Fo Thanks for showing me that, yeah, very helpful. I'll just check on Twitter. Oh, God. The, the moment store, there's, there's nothing worth it in the moment store. You, you can get two. You can get two eighty-five plus rated super loans. Um. As a pack. But no, no one cares. Uh, what? Wrong screen again. God damn it. Bang! Not gonna lie, when I first saw this, I thought that was Jurgen Klopp card on the right. I was like, what on earth is going on? Let's see with the jacket and the hat. This is the official loading screen, by the way. So that's, that's an official Luis Diaz dynamic image with a cap and a jacket on. I don't know why. Well, so I guess Luis Diaz is a player, because why would they use him as an example if he wasn't? We've got an 86 rated Luis Diaz. They haven't been able to confirm his country, you know, because they're saying he might switch from Colombia in the 24 hours there is until the promo start. <laughs> Not put his country on for some reason. Or his name. <laughs> he might change his name. 
before the promo starts, but he's guaranteed to be at Liverpool. He might change his country or his name, but not his club. Um, so he starts off as an 86 rate with 88 dribbling, complete play to style objectives, and you get an 88 rate in Luis Diaz with an extra cap and a jacket with plus four dribbling. So, what I'm gathering from this is this it's not going to be like what people have been asking for years and not the team. It's not like, you know. Well, people sort of be like, oh, play 50 games with this card and he gets upgraded. Play 100 games with this card and gets upgraded. But I think it's going to be even better than that. I think it's going to be sort of like, you know, it's, it says there, complete play to style objectives. He gets plus four dribbling. So I think that's going to be sort of like complete 10 take ons in, I don't know, squad battles and he gets plus one dribbling. Um, complete, 50, I don't know, 15 rainbow flicks. He gets plus one star skill moves this could be a really interesting promo I'm really excited for this if that's what it's going to be along the line of so that might make Alex Oxley-Chamberlain and Mason Mount actually usable which is really interesting um, but I'm really looking forward to this tomorrow if Louis Diaz actually does get that dynamic image as well that would be hilarious <laughs> he just looks like Jürgen Klopp in that but uh, I'll check if there's anything else on Twitter um Yeah, someone has also made the point that it could literally just be Future Stars Lindstrom all over again, where it's going to be play 30 games in squad battles to get plus one dribbling on Luis Diaz. Not even plus one dribbling, just a card with plus one dribbling. Like, it's sort of going to be like that cross machine. I did that with the numbers up, it's probably going to be the worst thing. It's going to be like complete t a take on, complete five take ons in 10 squad battles matches with 88 dribbling on Luis Diaz. To get 89 dribbling Luis Diaz. None of his other stats will change. Just dribbling. But honestly. This does have a lot of potential. In my opinion. I'm really excited to see what's going to be. Going on tomorrow. But. That is going to be it for today's video. So if you guys did enjoy. Drop like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you think tomorrow's promo is going to be. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.